Lab 05, this is a program we are going to do today. Partial programming, monolithic uh, programming, which means we put everything in a single script file. On Windows networks and, and computers, the users' groups and computers can be managed with both uh, net.exe or PowerShell command lists or both. So here are the tasks we are going to do today. Task 1, we are going to manage uh, Windows users and groups with uh, net.exe. Task 2, complete the to-dos in the template. This one can open the template in a new tab. Then we, we are going to uh, complete the review question. We have only one review questions, and there are four sub questions. Now let's create a folder to hold all the stuff we are going to create today. Lab zero file. We will use a PowerShell LCE. You can cd to the folder. We just created. The first one we are going to do with this net.exe is uh, external program. It can be used to view all local users, view a specific uh, user with its name, create, delete, enable, disable local users, and change the home folder. Our local users. In batch programming, we we always know how to use this uh, program, right? But you see, in this uh, PowerShell, we get some uh, errors, but we do get some output. You can see this net can be used for accounts, computer, configure, file, group, and and a user here. So let's uh, down inside a command window. PowerShell open here. We start from PowerShell. Please remember switch to CMD. Right? The CMD, our old friend. Now inside this uh, CMD, have net to find the help, the syntax of this command, this way. And we are going to use this net user. It supports so many uh, subcommands. For subcommand user, you can see it can be used for user create, enable, disable, change home folder, and so on. For that group, a net group, right? we can also uh, add or delete group. Okay, now let's just type a net user. And this command, it will show all the users currently inside my computer. Currently, I have five users, administrator, guest default account, the WDA utility account and SSHD. Yours may be different, is okay. So we complete this uh, task I. Now we will uh, specify the user with its name. So you can use net user. Here you check the syntax here. Net user username, right? The username here. 
or we can use this one, use the name for this one, this one. We have four format. Not a user, for example, I want to uh, find the information of this guest. Uh, you can see the list, the detailed information of this guest. The username, full name is uh, empty comment. And we are interested in this account active. It's not active now, and it never expire. And the password last set never expire. The password is changeable by the user guest. Here, no user may change the password. No. And some other information, home directory not set. Let's log on. Never. I never log on with uh, the guest account. Log on hours allowed or anytime. Uh, it uh, belongs to these groups. Local group membership guest. No. Okay, this uh, task I. Now, how do we create a local user? Let's uh, use net user followed by username. We just create a test. Press enter. We know this one is used to uh, find the user, right? To show the information of the user. Now you see we don't have a uh, uh, username the test. User, how do we create a user? We use the uh, add net user followed by username. We use this second line. The second line. Net user test. The username is test. And uh, we can set a password. Right? Set a password here. If we don't uh, supply the password to see what happened. And also there is the uh, options. So what options can we specify? Here domain which means we can create a user for remote computers or in a domain. Here I just use add and uh, omit those options to see what will happen. For detailed uh, help, you may check this one. How to use uh, net for user management. You can go to this uh, web page for detailed explanation. Here you scroll down, you can see the usage and the option, how to set the option. This option we can set. Here the option, additional net user command option. Active, comment, country code, expire, full name, home folder, and all these things. Not profile, pass. So, if you want to uh, add an uh, option, for example, a comment, then followed by you, you can see this is a test. This uh, account is for test purpose. And press under the command completed successfully. We didn't uh, set a password. Now every time after you execute a command, always uh, check your result. We use another user test. Result test, and you see here a user name the test is added. Right? Now we want to check the detailed information. Now we have username is test, full name is empty, comment is for test purpose. Now if I want to change the full name, how do I do that? And I change this, uh, here account active is yes, password required yes. So how do we change uh, th this account's password? Net user, test, no. 
we type uh, how do we specify that password we can follow this uh, explanation here password this option to modify an existing password or assign one when creating creating a new username so we can type a password here now how do we set that password let's press enter to see whether there are any uh, prompt here the password does not meet the password policy because we supply nothing so let's supply a password the syntax for this command is we want to change uh, modify this user's password right, which is syntax we use net user username password so for this password now how do we specify it Let's specify like this M space, right? Follow the password, and it says it does not work. It does not uh, work this way. Now let's check uh, any examples. You also have the option of using store input password to force entering a password in the command prompt window after executing the net user command. So this is the second way, but the first way, how do we set it directly? Here, if I use a store, again, the syntax is not right. Let's uh, check. Uh, check an example, how to modify the password. I didn't see uh, any examples here. When we check this uh, syntax, Net user username, what's the username, then password. Yeah, I write it like this. So, is this a password? Uh, is not a keyboard. This password is not a keyboard. If we type it like this, then type a password for the user. So, the password is not a keyboard. So we can set a password for this user. Okay, now the password is uh, set. For change to change the other options, for example, change the full name, net user test. You we want to change the full name. We use these uh, options. The options here, the full name. Let's go down here. Check these things. Full name. We call it a uh, test account. Here we need we need quote to quote them up and there is no empty space you check here no empty space it will completely successfully check your result here you scroll up 
now the full name show up, right? If I want to disable it, this one currently is active. I want to disable it. To disable this uh, user, we use this uh, option, active. So net user test what about that uh, option active and uh, no will currently is uh, it's active again we verify the result of our operation now you, this time you see the active is no we can also uh, reactive reactivate this user Active yes, and uh, check the result of your execution here, and active becomes yes. Now, if we want to delete this user, net user test delete, it says the command completed successfully. So, we net user check the result test. Now, you see a uh, the username could not be found or well, you just uh, use this one that user checked manually the test is not here anymore it's deleted so in this uh, task create delete enable disable change home folder so now let's uh, change home for home folder our local user Here the home folder, we use this one, home DRR, followed by the pass name. Again, we can uh, create a net user test. Now for the, the password, then followed by the option home DRR. We can specify what it seems. Full name, test, account, and that a uh, comment. This is uh, for test purpose only. Then the home DLR. So we need to, maybe we need to create a, a home DR first. Let's have a try. We don't create a home folder. On our computer, by default, those users are created under this C users here under this place. You see administrator, public, right? C users. So the home folder, we specify this C users now let's say test currently we didn't create a test folder under that users folder let's see whether this command will create for us or not the user here the username could not be found I need to uh, use the add option create a user and now you see it says uh, the command completed successfully so we can check whether that folder is created here you see the folder is not created the test folder right we didn't see the test folder here so it just uh, specifies this folder but it uh, does not create this folder for the user. Okay, we complete uh, task one. Now for task two. Here, task two, we use a PowerShell script. To, com uh, to complete the similar job. You can use any way to download this file. I would like to 
do the copy and the paste. Go to the folder I just created. Okay, I would like to type it here. To paste it here. Kind we paste it here and save it. Then I save inside the folder created today. And use the name ps user man dot ps one. I created this uh, program. Now we can run the program. To have a look first. Here we have comment based help. Right? We have description link, as we discussed during the lecture. Add action preference. We suppress the error message with this uh, silently continue option. Here, show how to use this script. With output host, input object, to output this list, you can uh, use a uh, here string to create this part simply, like this. With a help message. And you also pay attention to this uh, escape, escape, right? This new line escape. Here we have several functionality for this uh, program. Show this man, show this usage, create user, remove user, list all user, view the user's profile, activate user, disable user, modify user information, quiz program. So it's just a uh, partial. Actually, the PowerShell coding of the commands we just practiced, and the next uh, class we will use uh, PowerShell purely. Here, when you check this uh, major logic, is just a while loop. Ask the user to enter a command or letter. Then, based on that letter, we use this switch case. Use the question mark. We output the help string. If it's a C, means creator, right? You ask the user to enter the user's name you want to create, and then we use this net user. The username here we suppress the error if it's not null. Then we say the user already exists. So we can run it to have a look. Here you see the output. Right? It asks you to end a letter. In your demonstration, you need to demonstrate all the letters. Here, question mark, and uh, it shows the usage. Now, here, list all users. Any modification, you must uh, verify with this uh, list of users uh, or view the user's profile. So I use the list users. You see the test user is here. Now if I want to view a user's profile, type V, it asks me and the username you want to view her profile, we type test. Now you see uh, the test accounts information are all listed here. Right, we just create that one. Now we can activate the disable the user. Currently, it's, uh, the user is uh, active. So we can use disable, de disable, then enter the user's name, want to deactivate, a test. Then we use uh, this view of the user again, test. You see it is still active because we didn't implement didn't implement uh, this logic yet. So to quit this program, we type Q, we quit the program. Now let's check those uh, to those we need to implement. To do one, create a local user with a username, with this name, your name. Now you see how do we pass the username and password from PowerShell variable to that external program, net user. Right? Here you see this net user, how to use it. 
we already know how to uh, use net user to create a user, right? This is net uh, user followed by the username. Now here the username we use a variable to hold this username and the password to hold this password. Do we need to specify other things? You didn't ask for us, so we just use the simplest one, add. So this is how to add a user. The to do one, we, we just did. To, to delete the user with name, your name. Uh, we use net user, your name. And delete. So this is how do we add a user and delete a user. To do no, to do three, activate a user with with name, your name. It's net uh, user username and uh, active. Yes. And uh, disable the user, net user, your name, active, no, the disable, right? To the file, modify the full name of the user with, with the name, your name. So now, this F name is a full name. We use this F name to hold the the user's input here. We use the red host to get the input. And this one is the prompt. So we can use uh, the net user. We already know the username. Your name. Now to modify the full, na full name. So Full name. We use quote followed by this uh, F name. So this is how to change the user's full name. Task six: Modify the home directory of the user with name, your name. So we see we want to use this one. Not a user, your name, home DR, followed by this home pass. And also, this quote is okay, we don't use this quote. This uh, 206 uh, is already supplied for you. 207. Set the user's name, your name, able to change her password. So now change password. We check this one. Password change. This option specifies whether this user can change his or her own password. We use this uh, password CHG change, yes or no. Not a user. Specify that option. Password. CHG. Change. Yes. Not able to change the, the password. So we use this uh, yes. You check here. Password. CHG. Yes or no. On this, now let's have a test. To do something, we complete all these to do's. Let's create a user. First, we run this program. Create a user. Call her Alice. 
Now set the user's password. The user's password. Okay. okay. This password is uh, longer than 14 character computers will not be able to use. Now we have some problem. Right? How do we solve this problem? It's uh, longer than 14 characters. I actually, I typed just uh, 8 characters. But here it says it's longer than 14 characters. So what's the problem happened here? And I will try to press enter. Nothing uh, happened. It's stuck here. And when you check this place, you see uh, we can stop the operation. Right, it stopped. Then I press enter inside here, and it does not work. So it's at the place I want to get the password. Here, go to that create user to see how do we get the password. Lead host set the user's password as secure string, and uh, I. I got an error like this. So how do we solve this problem? Read host as secure string. So if we don't use it as secure string, what could we get? On the rest, I comment out that uh, as a secure string. But you see, currently uh, the environment is hung, is dead because there is no start. Right? Because it uh, is hung here. So we need to uh, close and restart it. We can also run from this uh, place. Exit that command because we want to uh, have the debug, so it's better from this uh, ISE. Again, I want to cd to this folder first. This file and run it. We create a user called Alice. Now you see it just uh, asking me to s set the user's password after I comment out that as a secure string. If I type it here, the command completed uh, successfully. So for that problem, we can check as secure string says more than uh, 14 letters to find what problem with that one. Right. PowerShell as secure string. Secure string more than Fourteen. Oops. So we can check this place to see uh, how to use that uh, as a secure string. Yeah, we uh, secure read host as a secure string. The encrypted stuff. That's why it's more than uh, fourteen characters. Is it because it's encrypted? 
Now, if we want to supply it to our supply to our command, how do we decrypt this one? Right? It's a good idea when you are encrypt your user's input. We have a convert from secure string to convert the secure string in the secure variable into a encrypted uh, st standard string and save the result in this encrypted variable. We can always uh, use outhost to print out those uh, information. Let's solve this problem uh, later. Here I can uh, delete this user. For any command, you need to verify your result with list or will. Here list, you see the Alice user is created here. Now I'll try delete. Delete the user Alice. It says successfully. Now I list. You see Alice is still there. The delete didn't work. Right? Oops, this is deactivate, not delete. My bad. So for that delete is all remove a user. So we use all type the com name successfully list the result. You see now Alice is gone. So this is how do you uh, need to show in your report every command if it modifies the information you need those commands to show you get the expected result. Now I type Q to quit. I want to uh, solve that problem as a secure string. Right? Now for this password, do I need to convert from secure string? We can supply a convert from secure string. Convert uh, from secure string. So it looks like I have some typos. So what's the name? Convert from secure string. Okay, now like this. Like this, convert from secure string. And specify this string as uh, used here. Convert from secure string dash secure string is encrypted. Oops, why am I the word complete does not work? Okay, I write like this. Now let's have a look to, uh, to see whether it will work or not. Here, maybe we need a... Uh, because it's in st we need the result, so we cannot put it like this. To get the result, we use this uh, syntax to insert into this uh, command, right? So now let's... Uh, Ctrl S, save it, and I don't need to have a look. Again, I want to create a user. Type the name, let's say Bob. No, set the password. Again, I still get these 14 characters, so I need to stop it, and it's uh, stuck again. Yeah, I will show you how to uh, debug this thing. Let's set a breakpoint here. No, 
run this script create a user username Bob now we come to this place you see currently password is empty we step over F10 type the password press OK now we come to this place here you check the content of this password is uh, show only show the type system security dot secure string now here maybe we need to add more one more statement to show the result right We can press F10 to continue, but that one we are hung here. I press F10, it comes to this place to convert. You see, with this uh, dollar, it will it will execute this first. F10. Now it come back. To these statements, then we get this problem. Oops, the problem is here. I didn't uh, change this one. Oops, my bad. I need to delete this uh, password here. And also, we may need a code because maybe we have an empty space. Since I already used that uh, convert from secure strings, so I need to get rid of this uh, password. Or maybe it's a good idea. Control C. Going to wait to convert this secure string outside this place. This is more readable. Now we don't need that one. Okay, we write like this. In some case, maybe our password there will be empty space, so it's better use a quote. For other situations, you can consider whether you need a quote or not. Depends whether you contain the empty space. Now we can just save it. Join it again. Type C, create Bob. Type the password. Click OK. We still have this arrow, which means this password is convert from secure string. Do we have any uh, commands to uh, maybe decrypt? Convert to secure string. How do we uh, this is the secure stuff? Convert from secure string to encrypted. So I misunderstand this part. Convert from secure string is still encrypted. If I want to decrypt, how do I get that one? So we can get uh, all the commands on secure string to have a look. Secure string we have convert to, convert from. We have example convert a uh, plain text string to secure string. Here is a convert to secure string as plain text. Now if I want to Convert secure string to plain text. Which one could I use? So I didn't see uh, which one I can use to uh, 
create from secure string we can use the create from secure uh, secure string to as uh, to see whether we have uh, as plain text Here we scroll down, find this part, convert from secure string, oops, my bad, but uh, I have, I didn't specify that password. But this one it says is encrypted, so we don't know whether it's a plain text or encryption. We can have a look. To make it more readable, you may type a E encrypted or S secure. Let's say E, right? Not like this way. Convert from secure string. See, create pop password. Now, we didn't see the says uh, successfully or anything, right? Which means this, that one is not executed. You see, pop is not listed here. So we can't have Q, quit, and uh, debug the program. We create pop Now we come to this breakpoint. Continue. Step over. Okay, when you check this e password, is a secure string. Now we want to see this password. Here, right? My password gets some contents here. Is e password? The secure string. Here, when you check this part, this password equals some uh, encrypted stuff. So we can run one more step. Step over. So this password is uh, encrypted stuff. So how do I get the decrypted stuff? Convert from secure string. Convert from secure string. Let's check an example. To an encrypted standard string, this is the one we are just using. I want to convert to a plain text here. We need to specify this one as plain text. Right, we do have this as plain text. Dash string does as a plain text. The secure string. Okay, this this is the way how do we use it? So now we can uh, stop oh, there's no stop. Because it's a uh, the hand, so we need to close it. I think uh, we will solve the problem now. Here at this place, convert from secure string. There's a secure string supplied. We need to add print text. What is that as print text? I'm not sure here.
convert from SQL string as print text. Contrast, save it. Right now, let's uh, run this program. Type C, it should be solved. Bob, type the password. Press enter. You see the command completed successfully. You check the result. Here, Bob is here. Okay, every you complete the program, you need to test all those to do. For example, this create and delete. So the delete, we remove this Bob. Bob is removed. You need to verify it's, it's removed. Right? Bob is gone, not here. Or you can also use view to view Bob. View Bob. And you see a Bob not exists. Or you can use view or error. It's up to you. We verified create and uh, delete. For that test, you can use this uh, view test to see currently a uh, test is active. Right? Now we want to de deactivate this test. Deactivate D test. Then you need to view your result again. And you see now the activate is no. Again, you need to activate, test this activate. Test. Then view. Test. You see it's uh, reactivated. So activate and uh, deactivate uh, or test it. Now once we still need to test. Activate, debug, dis, dis, activate, disable. Now modify full name. Currently, this is a test um, full name is a test account. So modify full name. The command is m. Now let's uh, test. Enter full name. So this full name required a test. Let's create a uh, Donald Trump. Now, do we need a quote? If we don't supply quote, we will get two strings, two separate strings. So let's supply quote to quote it together. Command successfully. Will Oops, a uh, home folder, user description. Now you see this modification. Can, uh, we can use it to modify lots of things. User's description uh, for test only. Again, we need quote. You can the user change her password? Yes. Okay, now we can use this real command. Test. You see its uh, full name is changed to uh, Donald Trump. Now, if you change home directory, you again, you use the same command M to modify the home folder. You just supply the home folder. Here we can have a try to see the logic. Here it can be used to modify the full name, home folder. Here, whether it's change the password or not, they're all inside this M command, all inside this M command. So you need to verify. Change the password, you need to change it to yes. Verify it, change to no, verify it. This is a home folder. 
Here, this test pass home folder means whether this folder home pass exists or not. So you need to test it not exist. One case exists. Uh, another case. This one, the full name is just one case, right? But for this uh, test pa uh, home folder, we have two cases. For this, uh, whether the account can change his or her password, we also have two cases. You need to verify both. OK, we complete this program. And now let's type Q quit. Now we complete all the tasks. Come to this review question. In this review question, we are asked to create a partial script to resize all images in a folder and it's a subfolder to a uniform size. This is a common requirement in machine learning or in web design. You need a uniform, a uniform size images. First, let's create a folder to hold these images and download images from this openclipart.org. So this is a folder structure and those are images we need to uh, download from this place. Certainly you can download the image from any place you want. Again, uh, we are would like to inside this uh, ISE CD to our folder created today. Now, please use a uh, purely partial to do this job. How do we create a folder? We use a new item, right? new item dash pass here, animals, and you see this one is created. Now the next one, three folders. Could we create se several folders at the same time? There is, you can get the example, get help. On this new atom dash examples, we want we only want to see examples in this case. Unfortunately, we get an example, no example, problem. We cannot find the help file on this command. It asks us to go online. Anyway, let's just use a. Uh, New items dash pass. Now I specify this animal followed by this uh, mammal layer. Now is it created or not? Can I get? Child item dash pass column the pass dash recurse. This one is not created. Right? We use uh, a syntax like that, it will not be created. So, oops, I want to use the arrow key here, it does not work. New item. Dash pass. It looks like uh, let's specify the syntax like this. Animals. Again, I didn't get output, so it looks like uh, this one also does not work. Right, this one also does not work. 
So how could we specify a, a hierarchical path? Another way we just uh, work around, just CD into the animals. You may find online how to create a several paths at the same time. We always uh, here use a the location use a PowerShell purely pass animal I have uh, animals here now why I cannot cd into it you see it, it says a means it's a archive so it's not a pass there's a problem maybe why this does not work Uh, yes, currently because it's a file, it's not a, it's not a folder here. It's a file, not a folder. So we need to uh, remove Adam. Followed by the pass name. Animal. Okay, now it's removed again. You are asked to. Uh, Verify the result. Here, that animal is removed. Now we use new item dash pass followed by these uh, animals. We need a type item type. Now item type and see file directory. Okay, now it will like this. Here you see this D is a directory animals. So this allocate does not work, so I need to copy and paste this part. Anyway, let, let's type it. New item, now this time we want to set up a subfolder. Could we use this way? Animal, animals. Followed by that uh, uh, memory dash item type directory memory is created and is a uh, folder D. But we, if we want to show it, get chat item recursive. Here you see this is animals and this is and uh, and the other animals, right? You see this result. We have two results. This part is for that uh, animals show up here, and this memory is show under this folder. And this animals folder, and this lab zero file folder. We have this animal folder and this program we created. Okay, it looks like this syntax uh, is fine. Now we can use it new item dash pass to create the other two animals and um free beer. Item type oops it looks some um, same one, new item, but I want to try uh, the order com complete, it does not work again. Directory, okay. Amphibian is created. Now we want to uh, create Insector. Okay, we have all these uh, photos now. Now, how do we download these images? First of all, I want to down download an elephant. Elephant, you, you can use any one you want. Copy the link address. 
that is elephant right click copy image address I come here how do we use a PowerShell to download the image so the command invoke web request in the dash you see there is your error you can paste the image address here and the dash out file to save it now save to which place we want to save it to animals and uh, memory and give it a name early font no we don't know the image format right we don't know the image format here so could we just specify a jpeg jpg press enter and how do we know is it downloaded or not again we can use a get shared item right that's because you see that is a elephant dot jpg and this for the animals memory you will want to view it yeah you come here to have a look to the elephant and you see the shop here okay it looks good now with the same way we download a in this uh, one we need one more a dock yeah there are so many dockers copy image address Oops. Sometimes this arrow key works, sometimes it does not work. Okay, now we need to modify this uh change this uh, location to the URL I just copied this is quite uh, inconvenient so in this case you maybe you will better uh, write in a script right write in a script then we can copy and paste here Finally, uh, after we checked all these uh, commands, you can save this thing into a script. Okay, download the doc. Okay, it's downloaded. Now I want to uh, download other Im images. It looks like my machine is stuck. Script. We have a new script here. Now we want to download another one. Actually, we can also create a script for this download. This download, uh, even though it's not required, ask you to create a partial script. This partial script is actual to resize those images. But you see during this. Uh, 
procedure, we can click this command to uh, create script. Now let's download a frog and a lizard. Come back here and copy this command. So it's better use whiteboards to replace these things. Here, for example, we can use a whiteboard. Let's say frog URL equals this one. All right? Then we can. Uh, we can also see, say, frog file name. Animal. Amphibia. Frog.jpg. Then we can write it to invoke. Web request dash URL followed by this uh, frog URL dash out file by this uh, frog file. So we can comment out that part and run this one. Is downloaded, so actually we can have a look. Right, the frog is downloaded here. Then we we'll check that a lizard. It's like crocodile, anyway. Now, if you want to make a general function to download these things, so this name is not a good name, right? Or you just call your error without this frog, which means it becomes more general. Kind of page here. And uh, this time, this one is uh, called a lizard. Okay, we run it. It's done. We still have one in that insect or dragon fly. Okay, now we are, we downloaded all these uh, images. You can verify with this uh, 
get chat item. Right, you see under memory we have dog and elephant, under this insect we have dragonfly, under this amphibia we have frog and lizard. So you can use this one to download the images. I want to comment out quickly, but I didn't see any place I can comment out. So now let's save it. Save it here. We create a com convert to uniform. Let's create a resize. Resize the image. Okay, I would like to open with uh, code. It's activating extensions. It opens a PowerShell for me. Okay, here we can comment out these things with a block comment, right? Okay, in this uh, script, we are asked to convert those images. Now, before that, we need a program to do the conversion with this uh, image magic. Here, the image magic the download the Windows binary release. So which one do I want to use? Static version or DLL version? So this one is a smaller, but maybe there are some DLL we don't have. So let's download this static one. Now, how do we write the program? We need to based on how to use how do we use this uh, image magic to do the conversion. You can check this part here. Easy image magic how to convert a SVG to PNG with the easy image magic. While well, you check the command line tool how to use it. Here you can see uh, the usage of the command line tool, magic convert. You can convert from JPG to PNG or resize to 50%. How do I specify the width and the height? 
Here you can go through this uh, detailed syntax. We would like to find the examples how to specify a uh, width and height, right? Here you can see here is a one example show up here. But this one uses uh, Inkscape, and not use this uh, this convert. For this convert, you can use this one like this. So now let's uh, install this image uh, magic. Or you may download this uh, image scape. It's up to you. So I would like to uh, close this one. Okay, so the image uh, magic, when I tried to install it, it didn't show up. Find the download. Okay, it pops up now. Accept the agreement. Just install to the default uh, place. I don't know, uh, maybe it needs this thing. FF MPEG? I don't know whether this image mag magic needs this FF uh, MPEG. Okay, the installation is complete. Now let's uh, see, go to the folder to see whether the convert tool is installed or not. Image magic. Here you check this uh, command. There's no convert, right? We didn't see a convert uh, executable file here. Let's see, I didn't see a convert. We only see this uh, image magic here, is the exe file, the magic.exe. So how do we run it? This magic exe may, I think is this one. Here, this is a uh, am display.exe. So if we want to use the command line, magic convert. So magic convert followed by those uh, parameters. Here magic convert dash size. Now how do we call this magic from our command line? Right. We need to add its location here to the path variable. How do we add it? If we want to use a PowerShell only, here we can type uh, currently I'm inside PowerShell. Right. Environment variable pass. So you can see uh, the contents are listed here. Now, how do I change its value? We can use this uh, string concatenation. Pass plus add a semicolon followed by this uh, location. Right. We write like this. Then you can see its result is is added here. Once it's added here, now we want to run that magic. Let's 
let's try something like this. It says it's not uh, recognized. I think it's not called magic. It's called magic. Now we see uh, how to use it. Okay, in this program, how do we uh, write it to convert those image into the same size? We just use this command, right? This command uh, magic convert dash size and uh, uh, Input image, then followed by uh, output image, but uh, you don't need to specify input output, just follow this uh, order. So, for this uh, core part, we just use uh, magic convert this uh, core part and a dash size, then followed by the width and height. You can specify uh, with head with the variables. Here, for example, let's want to change to 512 x 512. Then the input image. So we want to find the input Im image, then the output image. Check the requirement. Resize all images about a uniform size name as file name with height dot jpeg. So we need to uh, get this width x height and also this extension jpg. And the original extension does not matter, you know, maybe jpg or png or other bmp stuff. So we need to generalize this program. First, how do we get the file name? The file name they are in, in the image DRL, so we need to supply an image folder. Right. The image DRL, they are all under this uh, animals folder. Here. Lab 0 file, animals, they are all under this folder. This is the image DRR. And we also have those subfolders. Now, how could we get all these uh, those files from that folder? We can use that uh, get image, right? Or get a uh, child item. Get chat item dash pass. Oops. Uh, I got a snippet and the type it. And with this snippet, maybe you can find some inspiration from this place. Get chat item dash pass. Is this a uh, image pass? Image DR. Now I want to get everything. So use recurse. I want to get the now I get get everything including the subfolder and the images. And if no I want to uh, get only the file, right? 
here you can see uh, there is a dash file and we will only use the file dash file now we get a uh, array of those files a collection of those files you can uh, have a try copy this one the image path I didn't list here so I can uh, from this place I just type animal I will show up the files and where it is located it is located under those uh, folder right so in this case I, I got all the files how do I process each file? We can use pipeline to process each file. How do we pro process them one by one? You can use a uh, for each or some other syntax. Here we can use, uh, let's say, what's a good uh, structure we can use here. Any suggestions? We have a collection here in this one. Or you can write like this. We get a collection. Now for this collection how do we process it? We want to process them one by one. So we can use a for for each statement. Again, I want to find that for each partial for each object. We pipeline a uh, collection to this for each objection, then we can inside this place to process it like this. Home delete this part. I pass it to this uh, for each object. Then inside this uh, script block, I process each element one by one. For example, I just get its name to print out this name. Oops, I have a typo here. Now you see it only shows the image name. We have for each uh, six e image name. Right now we know uh, how to get each one, so we can process it like that with this pipeline for each object. And inside this uh, block, we can process this uh, these images first. We have uh, now. We have a question. Do we need to save the resized image to a single folder or just save it besides its original image? Right? We have two cases, and this uh, case is not stated in this. Uh, is not uh, stated in this uh, review question. So let's uh, save just beside the old image. So how do we uh, do that? We need to construct the name. 
the image name, the result image name, right? How do we construct the image name? We can first the output image. Here we get get this uh, this uh, name with the extension. But as we just uh, discussed, the extension of the original image maybe BMP or PNG, anything else. So here you can get some other information. For example, directory. You get the directory of each uh, of each image. Here it only show this. Uh, the subfolder. If we specify these four paths, it, the four paths will be shown up. So we can use this directory followed by the image name. Now, if we want to only get the name without this JPEG, so what's that uh, property? Here, do we have a base name? I want to uh, what completion, but uh, when I tap here, our completion. Let's say we have a base name. Okay, sounds good. Now you see we have base name. So we have directory, we have base name, then we can combine directory and base name together and together with our needed extension. To construct the name of the output uh, file. So we can write like this. Match convert dash size. Now the size, if you are asked to submit uh, to generalize as a parameter passed from the command line, you can refer to our previous lab, our last lab. Now here, this is a current file, right? Now for the output file, I want to construct. The output profile name. First, I need its uh, directory. Then, I need its uh, base name. Then, I need my new extension. Before we uh, run this one, I think we can test this one in our command line to see whether we can get this uh, this new name, right? So we can test like this, but we still uh, have something. We need to supply the size. So base name and the size file one two x. File one two. So if you want to generalize, we need two variable. Here, width and uh, height. Then we can replace this one with. Oops. This width. Now, if I use the X, we I have a problem, right? Now, how do I delimit that width? We can have a try here. Let's say width equals file one two. Now this is an uh, integer, so for integer we can uh, convert it to a string first, then we use concatenation. So this width and your two string. Then use concatenation. 
we concatenate with the x, then can concatenate with the height. Height dot to string. So we would write it like this. Now I want to uh, check whether this uh, base name worked. Actually, we, we can uh, comment out this part and join it to see the result. We only need to show this one. But before we execute it, we can try this one to see what we get. Here we can run without debug to see whether this one is uh, configured or not. It says this one is uh, not an expected token in the expression or statements. Oh, it just makes sense because uh, we just put it like this, it will not work. We only want to see the new name, uh, the new file name. So they are all strings, we can concatenate them all together. Concatenate them all together like this. And run it. Now you can see the file name. Here for the first one. Oops, I have file one two, x file one two, this part. Then plus this one, the full folder flog.jpg. Right. So where does this dot come from? Dot directory, then followed by the this one flock again. So where does that one come from? Here, this directory is this one, dot directory. So this is uh, quite hard to uh, read. We only want this uh, this name. Right? We only want this name. So let's uh, make it uh, clearer. Remove those unrelated stuff. And again, this one we need to change, but currently, uh, let's just leave it like this. We add a new line, escape. So now this time the output looks like this. Whole directory dot directory. So this dot directory. I want to get this one. This one is submitted. So this is not the, the right way. We need this way. We if we use quote, then it's submitted and it's not treated as uh, property. So we need like, we need something like this. Plus the base name, but now in between this directory and the base name, we need a backward slash, right? Like this. Here 
here it says no invo invocation for this one. A method invocation failed because this uh, does not contain a method OP uh, addition. So the directory, if we just use directory, it's as a directory. But how do we combine the di directory with this together? We use to string. We convert to string first. And the base name, we also need to convert to string. I think the best name is a string. We don't need to convert. Okay, now we get the result of our name. This is what we want. So it looks good. Now we can use this one. Connect X. This dash uh, size followed by none. We don't use this one anymore. The input file is this one. Now the output file is what we just got. The output file is like this. We don't need this uh, new line. Here, this is uh, the output file name. And this uh, input file name. Now we need to change this one. Right? We need to generalize this one. This width dot to string. Plus x. Oops. Height dot to string. Here this JPEG that quote is uh, deleted accidentally. And right, now we check this uh, syntax. We call this a uh, magic uh, convert command. That it says this uh, input file, then followed by this output file name. When you just save it, now let's run it. Magic is not recognized the name of the command lit. So because we didn't set up the environment uh, path, so we can set the environment path first. Okay, that pass. I want to print up here. Can I save it? Now we run it again. Invalid the argument for option dash size. Here dash size we just follow the file name. I moved that uh, argument here. This argument I need. Can't just see. Now we see it worked, right? Dash size. Here this is a size we need to specify. And you see the the good is for this uh, syntax, we only uh, modify the environment environment limited in this se session. So we run it again. Unable to open the image, no such file or folder. Here, permission uh, denied. 
I'm able to open this image. So this is a folder, not an image. So here is that uh, new size, but this place is this uh, here is the current file. So what's the problem I have here? I'm never to open image plus. So. because we have empty space over this place. So we need to quote this uh, empty space. But if we quote them together, another way we may uh, add more variables. Here we quote uh, Resize equals this one. Actually, maybe we quite the target size is better. And this uh, file name, the current file name, then the target file name, the target image, output image. The output image. Here, actually, this one is okay. We use a quote to quote it. Right? This one is okay to quote it up. Or to make it more readable, you can use this syntax. The input image, I image, equals this one. And the output image, the O image, equals this part. Now you see, we, we if we put batch programming and uh, those external command together with the PowerShell, this magic convert, it will explain those empty space in its way. Let's use a quote, quote in what to avoid some uh, space in the folders. This an input image and the output image. Okay, now it's uh, more readable. This, this size, we can create a new size to make it readable. Okay, we can run it again. Now you see it's done. Uh, just the uh, output there. Now we can uh, check the result. Check the result. We use uh, that uh, get chat item. If you want to show the base name, it's okay. Now you see the base name. They showed here: frog, lizard, dragon, dog, elephant. So if you go inside to have a look. This flock, the size is 512 by 512. So, the size is not 512 by 512. Check here, details, the image dimension is 800 by 6. Nine seven, so which means we converted, but uh, this convert does not work. Right, 
is not the problem of our power share program. It's a problem of that uh, image magic convert. Maybe we didn't use the right uh, syntax for that uh, image magic convert. Here you see the dimensions are all not right. The resize uh, here, this size we use it this way. It does not work as he expected. And the other one, it says, haven't uh, be able to get good result from this one. And uh, but this uh, ink escape is fine. So you may uh, try ink escape to solve this uh, problem. Uh, is this how do we uh, create this program? Okay, I think we completed all the stuff, but you need to test your script works as expected. As you see, the script works as expected, but the image mag magic uh, didn't. So you need to uh, check the user manual how to make it work, or you use uh, Inkscape.